They're all set for the feature. And they're away. Run to Freedom jumped out pretty awkwardly from stall three. Pogo away well on the right from Chindit and Tiber Flow. And then behind those Wings of War in the right-hand group and Run to Freedom. Dubai Poet in the yellow jacket showing up prominently towards the near side with Primo Baggio. As Chindit now swatch, switches across, followed by Jumbi. And then Wings of War at the back of that group now. And then Happy Romance. So just three heading on the far side. Pogo leading Tiber Flow and Run to Freedom. Dubai Poet probably the overall leader on this near side from Primo Baccio and Chindit. And they're followed then by Jumbi. A couple of lengths to Wings of War and Happy Romance at the back of the field. On their way now. Inside the final three furlongs, Dubai Poet and Pogo racing wide apart here, a good four or five meters apart, followed by Tiber Flow, Primo Baccio, Chindit just in behind these, followed by Jumbi, Run to Freedom, Wings of War and Happy Romance. Pogo is hard driven on the far side, Dubai Poet, Primo Baccio coming through well, so too is Jumbi. Jumbi splitting horses now with Tiber Flow inside the final furlong, an open race here, but Jumbi is doing best. Jumbi Jumbi kicking away inside the final furlong. Jumbi by two to Dubai Poet and Jumbi wins under William Buick. Jumbi lands the Hungerford from Dubai Poet. On the near side running on well, Wings of War in there with Primo Baccio, Tiber Flow and far side Pogo. Well, Eve Johnson Horton, we have talked a lot about Jumbi over the years. How satisfied are you that he's got his head in front and not just done that, but in a Group 2 race here in Newbury? Huge huge satisfaction i've always always believed in this horse and uh, i've taken the owners on owners on journey i keep saying don't worry he i know he's a good horse i know he's a good horse and we've gone for big handicaps and kept being placed because i go no we can win a big handicap before we have to go up to group class and then i thought sod it we'll just go to uh group class and he's done it so well i'm the good thing is william's always believed in it as well him as well and you know when the class of horse william rides then that makes me believe even more how good he is and um He's won it like a proper horse. So what's the feedback been from William? What's he been saying to encourage you? We'll get it right one day. He's just, he just kept finding one and we just, you know, he kept winning over six furlongs. I remember saying to you before, he's got the pace for six, but he hasn't got the gate speed for six because he kept getting left and left and left. And, you know, we took the, put the, now we've taken the hood off as they come out the stalls to make him jump better. And he's traveling better and he's growing up. I mean, he's a big horse. He's growing up all the time and, uh, yeah, he's improving all the time, so it's just so exciting. And he came here as a two-year-old in a, in a smart race. Yeah, he got beaten by Yabir. Yeah. He's cut not too bad, is it? Then he got beaten by Creative Force in Newmarket. Uh, not a bad horse, giving him weight. So, you know, the form's there to be seen. But it had just taken a little while for things to, to, to stack together. Do you think you ever will now come back to six, or do you think you've now found his job? I think he's got the speed for six. I think he could probably even go a mile because he settles really well. It's just he loves firm ground. Um, he loves to run at horses when they've gone a good pace. They went a nice pace for him and he just, as William said, he said, I filled them up, filled them up and then just went, right, time to go, mate. And off he went. So um, I, I still believe in him, believe it or not. I believe in him. I know he's a good horse. He's going to, I'll enter in the pre foray, but that's, he loves firm ground. So we'll see what the ground's like then. Um, and I mean, he's in the city of York. I know it's bouncing back very quick. But if you've got your conditions. But if you've got your conditions, it's definitely, we're not writing off as yet. And if you go to the city of York and you win that hugely valuable prize, then maybe you can start dreaming about something further afield. Well, absolutely. I mean, you know, we can start thinking about Dubai and Bahrain and all those sort of places. Lots of money, we like that. <laughs> the owners like that. They're, you know, they're amazing owners. They're wonderful owners. They're not rolling in at super millionaires, but they, they love their racing and to get a bit more money back in so we can go again at the yearling sales is great. Anthony Pygiri and David Ian own this horse. Mm. Anthony Pygiri's had horses with you for years, hasn't he, with the late Mel Smith? For a yeah, he started off, I think, in a syndicate with my dad years and years and years ago, and then he had horses on his own with dad. And then he had he a bit had... of the checker? And then he and Mel had the checker together. Uh, what about Carlo? Spoke to Carlo, all of those. Just had good horses all along. He never pays a lot of money, but we've always... But he never says, oh, I want this, or I want that. And I will throw some funky old stallions at him. I go, don't worry about that. This is a lovely horse. And, and touch wood, it's always come up smelling of roses. So, yeah, we're getting there. Of course, at the time, Newbay was a funky stallion. Not anymore. Everyone knows how good he is. I know. I love Newbay. I love... I've always loved Newbay, and I really love Newbay now. How, have you got some more of them? Um, I've only got one. I've got a filly that actually uh, Bally Lynch sent me to train. She's won three. She's a nice filly. 
Um, oh, she only won two, actually. She got beaten short head. Yeah, she's a nice filly progressing. But, I mean, and now I can't get close to them on my sort of money, but we'll keep trying. Well, you deserve a few more at the back of that. Eve, well done. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. It was great.